And it all leads up to the biggest and best celebration of all. A surprise party! A special Doc McStuffins. I can't wait. Doc McStuffins Friendship is the Best Medicine Week. Yay! Yay! Starts tonight at 7 30 Central. <laughs> that was wicked fun. This is air traffic control. Runway 2 is now cleared for landing. Yay! <laughs> Follow me, everyone. I'm the leader. We're right behind you, leader. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm not just any old plane. I'm the space shuttle. I can fly past the moon and off into... Mimi, we're playing. Follow the leader. You have to follow me. Sorry, Marcy. I forgot it went halfway to the moon. Well, zoom back to Earth and do what I do. <laughs> I like playing Follow the Leader. It's my favorite game. You're a good leader, Marcy. Thanks, Lester. Let's play again. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh. I'll be the leader this time. Let's do... Um... Wait, I have a great idea. But it's my turn to be leader. But this'll be fun. Follow me. Glub, glub, glub. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, there's something very familiar about that face. Does it look like me? Guess again, dog face. Marcy looks like Dennis. Lucky girl. I want to look like Dennis, too. Then follow the leader. Let's be goldfish. <laughs> Stanley, why aren't you playing? Well, it was my turn to be leader. But I guess I'll have a turn later. Excellent likeness. I can hardly tell us apart. All these fish swimming around are making me seasick. Sure, go ahead. And what's the leader going to do, Lester? Be a cat. Perfect. Follow me, everyone, and hold up your paws. You're doing it wrong, Lester. You look more like a dog than a cat. Nothing wrong with looking like a dog. That would depend. I'll be leader again and show you how. Look. But it's Lester's turn, Marcy. You don't have to take turns. I can be leader all the time. No, you can't. Yes, I can. It's more fun when one person is the leader. It's more fun when everybody takes turns. It's only fun when everyone gets along. Well, what do animals do, Dennis? Do they have one leader, or does everyone take turns? Well, it depends on the species. But some groups do have just one leader. Really? Which ones? Hmm... 
Oh, ring-tailed lemurs. And the leader just happens to be a female. I want to see her. Me too. All right, I'll take you to the lemur leader. But first, we'll need uh, something big with lots of pages. I got it, dude. That's what I was afraid of. It's the great big book of everything with everything inside. See the world around us. This book's the perfect guide. I wish they would follow a leader who could teach them to see. Inside our favorite reader, you'll find the lemur leader. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. L for lemur. Here we go. What's it say? Ringtailed lemurs can be found on the island of Madagascar, off the east coast of Africa. They're forest dwellers who live in groups of five to thirty and are led by one female. I want to see how the leader leads. Okay, come on. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. We both have long furry tails, except our tails have black and white rings, and Elsie's doesn't. Speaking of rings, can you guess how the ringtail lemur got its name? Oh my! Was it from the rings of black around its eyes? Or the black rings on its tail? Hey, that's right. The ringtail lemur got its name from the rings on its tail. Let's count how many rings there are. You count two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This lemur's tail has seven rings. Some lemurs have as many as 27 rings on their tails. See, everyone's listening to her like she's in charge. What do you think she's saying? I think she's saying, follow me. Then come on, let's follow the leader. Mimi, keep your tail up. Okay. But why? I don't know, but we have to do what the leader does. And the leader's tail is... Gone. All the lemurs are gone. Where did they go? There they are. Looks like they have rings on their tails, or else we couldn't have found them. And that's exactly why they keep their tails up when they run. Their tails are like flags that the group can always see, and that's how everyone stays together. I get it. It's kind of like what my parents do when we go to the amusement park. When we go to the amusement park, they wear bright orange t-shirts so Lionel and I can always find them, no matter what. Yippee! Snack time! I never thought leaves could look so yummy. I can't wait to eat some of these flowers. I am very, very hungry. <laughs> get it, Dennis? Very hungry. Because this is a... Stanley, wait. Uh-oh. Didn't the lemurs like my joke? It's not that. You just can't eat before the leader does. Lemurs let their leader eat first to show they're grateful she led them to food. Whoops. I'm sorry. In fact, I'm very sorry. And now I'm very happy. Yummy. Ah, yes. Hmm. There's nothing like a little nap after lunch. Ringtails seem to like it, too. Well, I don't like it one bit. Naps are boring. Let's play. Come on, lemurs, everybody up. We're gonna play Follow the Leader. I'm the leader, so do what I do. <laughs> 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 what 
What's the matter with her? She looks like she's mad at you. I don't think she likes it when you tried to be the leader. You've got that right. She thinks Marcy's trying to take over the group, so she's defending her role as leader. She's smelling up the place. She's marking the area with her scent to show that this is her territory, not Marcy's. Is there any way to make her stop? Not that I know of. But you might want to check the ever-handy stanoscope. Good idea, Dennis. Mm, just as I thought. The only way to settle this is with a full-scale battle. Then the winner takes over. Yikes! take over. I just wanted one turn being leader. Lemurs don't take turns being leader. But that's not fair. It's no fun for anyone else. Let's just go home and play. But that's how it is at home when you won't give any of us a turn. It is? Really? Uh-huh. You get all mad and cranky when anyone else tries to be leader. You kind of act like her. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. I'll try not to be so bossy anymore. For real? For real. That sounds good. Then let's go home and play follow the leader and take turns being the leader. And you guys can all go first. <laughs> all right. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I'll be the leader first. And we'll do whatever you say. Let's all be lemurs and hold our ringtails high up in the air. Red, all fat. Okay. Come on, everyone. You do it, too. Now let's play Follow the Lemur. <laughs> Eleven, twelve, thirteen rings. There. Do you like my picture? It's the leader of the ring-tailed lemurs. Before she got all mad and smelled it. It's a lovely picture, Stanley. Thanks, Dennis. You know, I'm glad my friends and I decided to take turns when we play. Me too, Stanley. Maybe it's okay for Ringtails to have one leader, but it doesn't work for kids. We have more fun when everyone gets a chance to be the leader. I think you're right. So tonight, I'll be the leader and say goodnight first. And tomorrow, it's your turn. I'll go along with that. Good night, Dennis. Good night, Ringtails Stanley. Jigsaw. Boy, this puzzle is gonna look so great when we put it together. See, Harry? Yeah, just look at all the cool horses. Only they're not horses, Harry. They're zebras. Yeah, I knew that. Isn't that what I said? Yeah, it's a really cool puzzle, but it's kind of hard. We've been trying to put it together forever. Zebras are starting to drive me crazy. If you ask me, it's because all zebras look exactly the same. See, they're all white. They all have the same black stripes. Not like us cats. Cats come in all kinds of beautiful colors. Us dogs, too. Hey, I have a great idea. Why don't you guys get a puzzle with dogs in it instead of zebras? <laughs> Maybe we'd better. These zebras won't fit together no matter what. Yeah, it's like they're all mad at each other or something. There must be some kind of trick. I mean, I bet zebras can tell each other apart. I believe so. Perhaps we should find out how they do it. Hey, Dennis is right. Maybe if we study zebras, we can figure out how we're supposed to tell them apart. Great! So all we have to do is look in the... Don't say it! It's the... It's almost over. It's almost over. To sort out zebras, please don't fight. The answer's here in black and white. Let me see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, 
W, X, Y, and Z. Whoa, that's the very last letter of the alphabet. Z is for zebra. Oh, boy. If we can't tell ten zebras apart, how are we supposed to tell ten zillion? Well, I don't care how many there are. I think they're really pretty, so let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Into the book to have some fun. Yippee! Yeah! Ooh, nice and sunny. Yeah, I wonder where we are. It looks like we're in Africa. You're absolutely right. There are three species or kinds of zebra. The plain zebra, the grevies, and the mountain. And they all live right here in Africa. Right now, we're in Kenya, a country in the eastern part of Africa. See? I see lots and lots of zebras, all right. But I see all kinds of other animals, too. Those are wildebeest and gazelles. Wildebeest and gazelles often travel with zebras. They all get along and eat the same food. What's more, traveling in a giant herd gives each of them added protection against their enemies, lions and hyenas. Lions and hyenas? Ah! Wow, I never knew zebras were so big. Well, that's how you can tell that these are grevy's zebras. They're the biggest of the three species. A full-grown grevy's can stand about five feet tall at the shoulder. That's about as tall as your dad, Stanley. That's pretty big, all right. I bet it's really heavy, too. You can say that again. That one zebra could weigh close to 1,000 pounds. That's as much as the four of you kids put together. Four times. Wow! wow. Zebras are wild, but they're actually the cousins of a domesticated animal we all know very well. Domesticated. That means when an animal has been raised by people for thousands of years. Right, Dennis? How right you are. So what do you think? Which of these animals would you say is related to the zebra? The horse, the snake, or the fish? You got it. It's the horse. I always thought zebras looked like horses. They have the same shaped heads and everything. And they have other things in common, too. For one thing, horses and zebras mostly eat coarse grass. And they all spend more than half of their day eating. But the best part is that zebras are covered with pretty stripes. Like a candy cane. I wish I had a pet zebra. I'd put ribbons in its hair, and I'd ride it to school, and I'd feed it sugar cubes and apples. But Mimi, Zebras aren't domesticated. They probably hate being kept as a pet. Whoa! And that's not all. Zebras are very social animals. They really need to be with other zebras. Lots of other zebras in order to be happy. I get it. So it's always one big party when you're a zebra. Kind of. You see, zebras live in giant groups called herds, with up to hundreds of thousands in each. The herd is broken down into smaller family groups, each led by a male zebra called a stallion. Look, there's a zebra family now. Wow, I can't imagine living with so many people. Don't zebras ever get into fights with each other? Occasionally they do, but mostly they get along, even in the biggest herd. So let me get this straight. All the zebras live together, and they hang out with their families. Only they all look alike. So how are they supposed to tell each other apart? Good question, Marcy. Zebras actually have two very good ways of telling each other apart. And one of them is by smell. Smell? It's true. Every zebra has a smell that's unlike any others. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's so weird. I know. Let's close your eyes and see if we can tell who everybody is just by smell. Yeah! I don't smell anything. I don't smell anything either. Wait, I think I smell something. It's, it's peanut, peanut butter. butter. 
Oh, yeah. That's what I had for lunch. Zebras have a truly amazing sense of smell. Much better than ours. And it helps them identify family members present as well as family members in the distance. I can always smell Harry in the distance. Well, I usually smell dinner. So zebras just tell each other apart by smell. They also look different. No way! Ah! Ah! Are you sure about that? I'll show you. Just pick out two zebras at random. Sounds like it's time for the stanoscope. Okay. Here's one zebra, and here's another. That's two different zebras. What are some of the differences you can see between these two? Well, this one has a big spot on its side. Yeah, but that one has black hair. Wow, so they really do look different after all. I'll say. When a baby zebra is born, its mother guards it from others so that her baby will memorize her stripe pattern and smell first. You know, now that we know all zebras look different, it's pretty obvious. I wonder why we never noticed it before. I guess because we weren't looking hard enough at first. That's right. It's like the first time I met you two. Remember how much trouble I had telling you apart? Yeah, you kept calling me Mimi, and you kept calling me Marcy. But now that I know you, you really look different from each other. That's what most people say when they get to know us. Yeah, you just have to pay attention and look for differences. Just like with zebras. And perhaps with zebra puzzles, too. That's yeah. right. Zebras, go. here we come. <laughs> okay, all we have to do is look carefully, and maybe we'll start to see some differences. Yeah, look, they are all really different. See, this one has white feet, and this one has black feet. How come I didn't notice that before? Maybe we should start two different piles. Zebras with black feet and zebras with white feet. Hey, look! This zebra has white feet, but its head is down. Yeah, and this zebra with white feet has its head way up. So maybe we should split each pile into two smaller piles. Heads up and heads down. This is a lot easier already. If we start at this corner of the puzzle, we're going to need a zebra with white feet, with her head down, and a big black star on her neck. White feet, head down, star on neck. Here, I found it. And next to that one, we need a zebra with black feet, with its head down, and a white tail. Found it. Look, it fits. What's the next one, Marcy? One with black feet, head up, and his foot up in the air. Got it! Oh, yeah, we did it! Boy. Didn't that puzzle look great when we finally put it together? It certainly did. You and your friends did a terrific job figuring it out. Thanks to those zebras. Indeed. Today I learned that zebras are a wild relative of the horse that live in Africa. And even though they live in big groups, they can always tell each other apart. And I learned that if you want to see differences, sometimes you have to look really carefully. Pretty good lesson. Do you think it works with every puzzle? I bet it does. <sighs> I can't wait to try it out tomorrow. <laughs> good night, zebra boy. Pleasant dreams. Good night, Dennis. See you in the morning. Stay tuned for Guess How Much I Love You, coming up on Disney Junior. Handy Manny's Repair Shop, you break it? We fix it! I'm Handy Manny, you can paint. That's really good. 
build. You could make a really great campsite right here. This cardboard box would make a great tent. <laughs> and fix just about anything. Why is my car washed off? It looks like one of your electrical breakers is broken. Is there anything you can't do? <laughs> Handy Manny, weekday afternoons at 12.30, 11.30 Central on Disney Junior. Now available on Disney DVD. Gather round, ye pirates. I've something to tell you about that pesky Peter Pan. <laughs> the boy who refuses to grow up. He's coming back to Neverland. <laughs> and when Peter Pan gets here, I'll have my revenge. <laughs> Looking for something? Disney's Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Peter Pan Returns. Now available on Disney DVD with digital copy. <laughs> In a wondrous place known as the Hundred Acre Wood lives a bear named Winnie the Pooh, who has many great friends, and together they've gone on some grand adventures. Here is just one of them. On this crisp and cool autumn day, Tigger was doing what Tiggers do best, a bit of bouncing through the Hundred Acre Wood. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful things. Their tops are made of rubber, their bottoms are made of springs. They're bouncy, trouncy, flouncy, pouncy, fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. Tiggers are cuddly fellas. Tiggers are awfully sweet. Everyone else is jealous. That's why I repeat and repeat the wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are marvelous chaps. They're loaded with them with figure. They love to leap in your laps. They're jumpy, bumpy, clumpy, pumpy, fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. I'm the only <laughs> Hello, I'm Tigger. That's T I double G R, and that's me. <laughs> I know. You've bounced me lots and lots of times. Yeah, <laughs> fun, ain't it? <gasps> Say, you want to go bouncing with me? On account of bouncing for Tigger's do the uh, best. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, come on, please. Mother. Yuck. What do these poo bears like about their sticky, sticky stuff, anyways? Well, no time for goofing off. I've got dawdling to do. <laughs> TTFN, ta ta for now. <laughs> They're bouncy, trouncy, flouncy, pouncy, fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about Tigger's is I'm the only one. And after the mess that Tigger left Pooh with, it might be a good thing that Tigger was the only one. And off he bounced into another adventure indeed. But that one will have to wait for an entirely different time. A special place called Third. Third and Bird. Where the birdies meet just above the streets, sing to lady. And on Third and Bird, you'll hang out with all your friends. Ah, Samuel, Rudy, and Muffin. What can I do for you, birds? Go on exciting adventures. We'll see all sorts of unusual creatures. And sing lots of songs. There's no higher sight than my session. There's much more magic flying your way. There are so many nice things on 3rd and Bird. On 3rd and Bird. Weekday mornings at 7.30, 6.30 Central on Disney Junior. His name is... Sam. Robin Hood. Tarzan. Stitch. How? You're invited to the magical world of Disney Junior. I can't believe it! You must be joking. I think it's gonna be perfect. I'm going where the sky is bluer. I'm going where the magic begins. I'm going to Disney Junior. Come on, everyone, join in. This will be my greatest performance. Enjoy movie adventure. 
adventures. Yeah.